My name's Jack, and I live on a sailboat. I've been living on a boat for the past seven and a half years. I'm currently 21, which means we moved on to a boat when I was 13. I live with my family, Keith and Renee, my mom and dad. Then it goes Finn and Kate. I do have an older sister, but she moved off the boat when she was 18, which was quite some time ago. So yeah, I guess I'll just run you through kind of how my day goes. Also, we're in Ibiza. It's pretty great. Hey Jack, I'm gonna move. Look, we're gonna move another, that other anchorage. Let's go pull the hook up. I guess that's time. <laughs> And that is the way we do that. Still kind of cold. One time I was in a land of It was called this is called the bridle and what it does instead of the chain pulling from right here on that round thing up there that's what we call the windlass instead it pulls on these lines which are connected what did you just say obviously the boat can do 360s but it makes it so it's not just pulling from the windlass and then you can move along think about it boom or boom yeah, maybe. Anyways, you were you were saying something about the romance, the, the comments about romance. I've been getting some comments. I have too. My next video is about romance, but... I should do a video about romance. I'm doing a video about romance next. I've got to go... Hold on, let, I don't know what I was about to say. Let's just redo that real quick. Let's go swim the chain. That's better. So, we just dropped the hook, and as fate would have it, every time you drop the hook, you gotta go swim on the chain. You gotta go swim. Because when you drop the hook, the anchor falls into the sand, and when the anchor falls into the sand, you've got to make sure it's set in the sand. If it's not set proper, you could live by the sailings of Taramoto, let it float away. But we don't wanna let it float away. We wanna make sure it's in deep. There we are. Mm -hmm. It's not warm. Like it was warm the other day. Yeah. It is a little cold. But we're gonna swim the length of the chain, or we're gonna try. It's pretty long. Okay. That bad boy is dug. Very good. Wow. There we go. Job done. My Nikes. Boom. Do a dance. What are those shoes? <laughs> we have one with ugly shoes and one with no shoes. Granola girl. They're right in the way up there. Man. I was on the team. 
How do you guys feel now that we're all uploading the same content? Not you. You're not uploading. Aww. I think it's fun. It adds different perspectives on it everything we're doing. It does. It makes you work harder to get some ideas so you can like stand out. Yeah, but the videos are different. different. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say right. Yeah, they're yeah they are. Yeah, they're definitely different. A we different have very vibe. different editing styles and stuff. I don't know. Well, it's kind of sketchy. Let's try. What's the worst thing that could happen, huh? We gotta fix the sail. Our main sail, most main sails have what we call battens. They're fiberglass rods that run through the sail. It gives it structure so it doesn't just flop around. These battens sometimes come out of their holds. So we just gotta put it back in. That's really it. So I gotta go up here. Right here, right, right here. So this is that batten I was talking about. And this is where it needs to go in. There you go, push. I am pushing. Is part of the bat, the batten car break off? No. It's all on there. Is there something inside there? Pull it out. No. You ready? Yeah. There you go. That's in. It's torn up here as well. Yeah, I know. But it's gonna be these cheap sails. So these, the ones that slide up and down, those are called cars. What are these things called? The white things the battens go in. Those are called uh, batten pockets. Or... So this batten fits into this batten pocket, which it just gives the sail integrity. And there's one here, here, down and down. Now while he's doing, he's just putting the bat cover on so it doesn't go out. What'd you say? The poor quality sails should start to do what that one did. That's why we're getting new sails because these sails are only five years old and you can see they just look like crap. They just weren't made real well. Good shit there. It's not going out of there. No, I said. Alright, right. job done. Now I gotta help the captain get down. We're gonna be leaving on Tuesday. One more project off the floor. You let it out? That's good enough. Silly zipper. So I wanted to talk about romance really quickly while we're kind of doing this and I have a break. So it comes up a lot. How do you do romance on a boat? How do you deal with that? How do you have a girlfriend? You know, you live on the boat with your parents. Do you just bring girls back to the boat? And if so, does, you know, do people hear? And well, these are all really great questions. And I'm here to tell you, trying to maintain romantic relationships on a boat is not easy. There, for some reason or another, there's a lack of women on the ocean. Most of the women I've met throughout my travels, you know, we meet, we have a good time for like a week or two, and then that's it, I leave. The only way to stay in contact is via social media. But with all that being said, I wouldn't let that hinder, you know, you going out and meeting people, having a good time. And it's not just for romantic relationships, it's for all relationships. Most of the people you meet out here, you do end up leaving. But if you sail around the world, odds are you're gonna encounter them again. We've met people in one spot and then years later, on the other end of the world, we meet them again. It's pretty neat. Anyways, back to what we were doing. Done and dusted. Done? That's um, it. Were you in the sail bag? Oh, he was, oh, yeah. I wanted to get you popping your head out. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching till the end. 
that's what a day in my life looks like. We're gonna be leaving Ibiza soon to go to Gibraltar. Stay tuned, I drop videos every Saturday. Thank you for watching, bye bye.